Here we're looking at programmatical control of a mechanism in Gazebo through the use of plugins. And this is a model plugin. So here is the model. It's that simple one arm manipulator, one revolute joint manipulator. And here is the model.sdf file. So we've got the two links and then we have the joints, the joint fixing the first link to the ground, and then the joint for the revolute between the two links. And finally, we have that there's a plugin for this model. And the plugin is in the directory with the world file. And we'll look at that now. So this is the plugin that is controlling this mechanism. And all it's doing is providing proportional control for the mechanism. So we have that the desired position is one um, is three quarters of a revolution. And so we're going to use the joint for this model, so joint R1, and then the get angle function. And that will return the angle and that is a joint pointer. So joint R1 is a joint pointer, I misspoke, and then theta1, which is what's returned by get angle, is an angle object. So now we have the error, we compute the error, which is the difference between our desired joint position and the actual joint position. And for proportional control, we want to apply a torque to the joint that is proportional to the difference, or to the error. So we're going to use the model plugin. The model plugin will set the force on that joint, and it's going to, whoops, it's going to set a torque value. So this zero here is the index, and torque was the variable name that we created. So now running this simulation we'll see that it overshoots and then comes back and it's just going to oscillate around that desired position that three quarters of a revolution and the reason for that is that there is no damping in this model so the joint has no friction so let me modify the model file to add some damping. But before I do that, let's change the inertia. So again, here's the inertia for link two. Increasing the inertia, we'll see what effect that has. Well, it accelerates more slowly, as one would expect. And it has the same overshoot as before. So there's no change in overshoot, but the rise time has increased. So the amount of time it takes for the second link to reach a given position. Now, if we want to change the gain of our controller, then we will need to modify the plugin file. And so we'll change the gain from 1 to, say, 25. And now we'll need to rebuild this file. So we need to rebuild the plugin. So I went ahead and built that using CMake. Didn't include that in the video just to make it a little shorter. And now the simulation is running again. Well it's launched so we'll start it. And you can see with the higher gain it moves faster. Again this is with the inertia matrix as 10 times the identity matrix. 
One last thing to see is the effect of damping. In all those cases, damping was zero, and so we had a system that oscillated continuously about the desired point. Now if we want to change the damping to a value that will make this an underdamp system, we can see a different behavior, such as 5. And now launch the simulation, and we'll have an underdamp system. So you can see that there's less overshoot, and the system eventually settles out at a steady state value which is going to be about 270 degrees, the value programmed into the model plugin.